guys, what's up? So in this video, we are going to see how to do a memory patching also to debug a native Windows portable executable using x64 dpg. So let's get started. Here I have an executable. It's an executable that I downloaded from trackinglessons.com and it's a challenge number nine where you could view some something as the serial key and it's going to say whether the serial key entered is right or wrong. We have two challenges here. One is to find the correct serial key using the debugger and second one is to modify the serial key to your choice in memory so that we are not patching the actual binary we are just modifying it in memory so that we could input the serial key whichever we configured and then do the check okay so let's first analyze the binary in order to do that let's use the tool die detect it easy and let's drag and drop it and you could see that it's a 32-bit version and it's a native binary, not a .NET binary because we are not seeing a CLR header. Let's drag and drop this binary and you could see it's having a presence of CLR header which indicates it's a .NET based executable, not just a plain native executable. So the crackme 9 exe which we are going to use for today's exercise is basically a plain native binary and it's a 32-bit one. Now the point to note that when you go to x64 dbg, you will basically have a 32-bit version of it as well as a 64-bit version of the debugger. As the program is 32-bit, we should be using a 32-bit dbg. Let's start the debugger. And you could just drag and drop the binary. Now you could just start by clicking on run. There are some default breakpoints, so you might have to click it one or two times to get it started. So now you could see the program is started and the enter something and then click on check. Now you could see that it's giving a message box saying wrong key. Now let's try to search for the message that is basically a string which is within the binary. So just right click over here and go to search for and current module and string references. Now it's going to load all the strings that is present within the binary and you could then start searching over here for sorry, wrong key. So this is the string and you could see two addresses over here. One is the text segment or the code segment address which is referring or using this string and this is the actual address where the string is actually present. Okay, so let's double click on it and you could see it's doing something like loading the string pointer to edx and ecx and making a call to this function which possibly should be a function to show the message box i assume so if we go up slowly we could see a comparison happening here that is a jump happening based on the zero flag so je instruction stands for jump equals which will perform a jump to this address 403a70 which is basically this address and here you could see it's loading a message correctly and I think this is a title and it's calling this function. Basically, this is the same function as this and I like I assumed it's gonna be something used for showing the message box. Okay, so this jump is actually performed based on the zero flag. In order for zero flag to be set, there should be a test or a compare operation that must be happening. So if we move up slowly, we can see indeed there is a test ESI comma ESI operation happening and test is nothing it basically does logical and of two operands so in this case it's ESI and the second one is also ESI that means if the ESI is zero the and will result in a zero otherwise it's gonna give a non-zero value and if the and is not resulting in zero zero flag won't be set that means in order to perform this jump which will show the correct key message the set flag must be set to zero that means the value of esi should be zero then only esi and esi will yield a result of zero so i guess possibly there should be some function call happening we can see there is a function call happening here and there is a function call happening here as well and after which interestingly the value of eax is copied to esi that means this must be the function who should be setting the value of EAX. Okay, so let's do one thing. Let's just go up here and start setting our breakpoint from this function call. 
and just run it and over here let's just click on check now you could see our breakpoint got hit okay and already you could see some strings appearing over here and this is the string that we actually gave as an input you could go into the function by using f7 that is step in or you could just step over by pressing f8 so i'll just step over you could see two arguments that is the string which we actually entered and i guess this is the string which is the actual serial key and once over here i'll just step into this function by pressing f7 now inside which i'll perform f8 and you could see it's basically doing a compare operation over here which is a string compare and it is basically taking these two strings which indicates this is our actual string so we can just click on run and continue running and over here it gave us the message box wrong key and i'm gonna enter a b c one two three four five six and click on check and run it run it run it and you could see the correct key okay and now let's do one thing i'm just restarting the process and i'm gonna enter the serial key whichever we discovered and click on here so that it will hit the breakpoint okay now if i go over here and scroll up slowly so if you see over here this is the actual address of the string in memory and here we could see the memory dump so you can click on this click on here and right click follow in dump and select the address and you could see it will take you to the address in the dump and you could already see your string over here okay that indicates this is the interested memory area that we would like to patch so select the memory area that you would like to patch by just click and dragging on it okay this is the memory area that i wanted to edit and right click on it and go to binary edit and just make sure you click on keep size and i'll just modify it with a string of same size and press ok now if i run it i'll remove the breakpoints and if i run it it's going to say wrong serial key anyway because we modified it now we will try out the serial key with which we patched ccc str str and check you could see now it's saying it's the correct serial key because we actually patched the serial key in memory so this is how you actually do in memory patching using a debugger as it's an in memory patching we did not patch the actual binary if you restart it this key won't be working because the memory will be reloaded with a fresh copy of the process this is only an in-memory patching. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.